What's going on everyone? This is Coffee Run. You guys have questions? Hopefully we can get some answers. Question number one, thoughts on productivity apps. What is your favorite one? So it's not an app on my phone. So right now I'm, I'm pretty big into productivity, like just trying to maximize my like efficiency essentially. So number one productivity, productivity app that I use is called Better Touch Tool. I think it's like $12 lifetime or $12 per year. And it allows you to set a bunch of like hot keys for your keyboard. It allows you to set like custom buttons on your touch bar. It allows you to increase your mouse sensitivity. It's, it's highly recommended. You, you get like a 45 day free trial, so you should definitely check it out. All right, question number two, how do you put yourself in inspiring environments? That's actually like a really good question. I feel like I don't physically put myself in inspiring environments, but mentally I absolutely do. Um, I think reading is very inspiring to me. Like, I, so I stay up to date in tech. It's just so cool to see what other people achieve. One podcast that is pretty inspiring to me, it's called Business Wars. It's just so cool to hear how these uh, entrepreneurs, these men and women were able to achieve so much in their businesses and what decisions they made in order to get to that next level, which I'm always trying to do. So I highly recommend Business Wars, but it's, it's a lot more for me about getting in the right mental space in that inspirational environment than it is physically. Uh, but I see advantages to both. Question number three, when did you start calling yourself a CEO? That's a good question. It may be a little different than a lot of other people. So as we've talked about, the way that we got started with the business, honestly, this was kind of like an experiment. Like I didn't know that this was really gonna become something. And I think I, I started calling myself CEO once I went to like my first conference maybe, where I actually had to put a title on myself. Um, when my co-founder and I got started, we didn't care about titles. Like it was just about, hey, let's see if this works versus you know, the, the ego side of things. So yeah, not really sure. Probably at least a year into the company, at least. Question number four, how to deal with the feeling of I'm in over my head? Man, that's a good question. I don't think that I'm the best person to answer this. Uh, one, so, you know, I'm really into my faith. So I think that helps me get through a lot. Two, I think that looking at kind of the worst case scenarios and realizing that worst case scenario probably isn't nearly as bad as what you're expecting it to be. And the worst case scenario probably isn't really that bad. At the end of the day, you're probably not gonna die. At the end of the day, you're still gonna have your family and like ultimately you're gonna be okay, I think is really important and allows you to make better, maybe more ambitious decisions. And then three, the best way to handle it is to just go solve those problems. I mean, you really have to take things head on. And I think so many people kind of sit back and expect the problems to solve themselves and they just won't. All right, last question. Tips on picking a name for a company, service, or product. Honestly, this is really tough and we are definitely not experts here. Uh, I feel like sometimes we've made really good choices. I don't think we made a good choice with actual viral launch. Um, but since then, I think we've learned a couple of things. I think we've dodged some bullets. Uh, but anyways, I just brainstorm so much. I have, there's websites like wordassociations.net. There's a bunch of websites that help you find similar words, words that phonetically sound the same, or, uh, you know, you, it's tough because you have to find domains. So really brainstorm, talk to a lot of people, get a lot of people's feedback. You don't have to listen or agree with what everybody says, but I think just getting that feedback into your head is really important. And ultimately you have to pick a name and you make that brand. So like Snapchat probably didn't sound that cool initially or maybe sounded okay, but now, you know, it's this really cool, really successful brand. So I think it's really up to you to actually go and make that brand something successful. So, all right, so my question for you, I shared my favorite productivity app, but what is your favorite productivity app? Please share it in the comments. I'm, I'm really interested to see what other people are using, but I'm always looking to improve myself. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to see the day to day, come check me out on my personal Instagram. Thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate it. And come check me out on personal. <laughs>